Iran's powerful Guardian Council said there were no major voting irregularities and will not annul the results of the nation's disputed presidential election. The council spokesman said the results of the June 12th vote will stand. Fortunately, we have witnessed no major irregularities during the country's recent presidential election and therefore there is no reason to annul the election. The Guardian Council said complaints centered around irregularities before the election but not during or after the vote. President Ahmadinejad had been declared the winner by a landslide. Tuesday's announcement comes as Iran's government continues a crackdown on demonstrations by supporters of the losing candidate Mir Hussein Mousavi. He has said the election was rigged. Days of violent confrontations between government security forces and thousands of protesters have left at least 17 people dead according to the official count. Reports of deaths and injuries cannot be verified because Iran has barred independent media from reporting the events. In Washington, President Obama condemned Iran's crackdown on demonstrators. The Iranian people have a universal right to assembly and free speech. If the Iranian government seeks the respect of the international community, it must respect those rights and heed the will of its own people. Several European governments have also criticized the crackdown. Iranian Nobel Peace Laureate Shireen Ibadi called on the EU countries to impose sanctions on Iran and press its government to end the crackdown. In Tehran, the streets were mostly quiet as supporters of Mr. Mousavi planned their next move. The former prime minister has not been seen in public or heard from in days. Azar Nafisi is a well-known Iranian author. She says if Mr. Mousavi wants the protest to continue, he has to lead them. If Mr. Mousavi wants to remain popular, and wants to have credibility. He has to go on with the movement. Uh, he's already a little bit behind, but he has to move forward with the movement. Mr. Mousavi's website has condemned the government for beating up protesters. He has issued a statement supporting further protests while urging restraint to avoid more bloodshed. Chris Simpkins, VOA News.